We got a brand new evolution coming to Clash Royale the 2nd of October and I can tell you guys already that this evolution might be the most broken ever. This evolution will be available through the Pass Royale, the Diamond Pass Royale for $15. So if you guys think about buying that, use code MOLT in the shop. But we're diving jumping into the Bats evolution coming in October to Clash well, yeah. So guys, they actually speeches after Supercell gave us information about the bats and was trying them out and gameplay and just seeing the stats at all is absolutely busted. So kind of taking a look at the cycle of two, which is absolutely crazy already. Really, like, I don't know, just like you kind of think, okay, bats might be similar to skeletons, right? People don't really use it, but the stats are absolutely incredible. So first of all, start with the stats, right? So it's a cycle of two. The stats are actually pretty like similar, right? So the damage will be the same on tourney standard. The hit points will be a bit more, just like 40 more still dies from zap at least that's what you could think but actually the special evolution will be that as you guys can see here what's cool on bats vampire bats these creatures of the night heal with each attack and can increase their hit points past their maximum this actually means when they attack the maximum hit points means 244 and if you're taking a look here from the damage gap it will be just 192 so uh, when the bats are attacking a giant at example and the opponent's gonna drop a zap on top of the evil bats, the evil bats are still staying alive. So in situations like that, when the bats are targeting something, Zeb won't kill it as you guys can see in the background. I just think this is absolutely ridiculous and just like really provides spam, especially it's like a really cheap card, a really good card in the meta. I mean, one of the most annoying cards for a ton of people just like it's cheap cycle decks, but it's absolutely Absolutely crazy. Also, take a look. It's like minions. You you need to defend them. They're like minions taking free shots from opponents. Oh, look at this. Just like absolutely destroying here the musketeer and doing an absolutely crazy job. I know what you guys, what I'm going to think about that. It seems absolutely busted. To be fair, I'm a big bats player. I love bats. One of my favorite cards in Clash Royale, working so, so well. Minor poison decks and just minor decks at all. And just like the decks, I'm playing really a lot, but it seems way too broken. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I think this will be the best evolution ever coming into the Clash Royale. So first gameplay I kind of want to show you. Your opponent's going to play Lava on and we got bats there. So we're just going to play immediately the, the bats there. And let's see. So the opponent is just going to zap. Zap is not going to finish them off. But look at the damage they do. So the Lamon also with the accident of course just gets free shots and you still get this type of counter bush, which is absolutely crazy. And now kind of take a look. That's how let's do let's see how the spear gums do. Spear gums are not doing anything anymore. So you need to commit arrows there. To kill them and this is absolutely crazy right not just like defensive fire they're getting but also the counter push every time out of the defense this will be crazy you're forced to play arrows and zap will be dead guys now pay attention because this could save your life okay guys now we're going to next interaction which will absolutely change the opponent uh well, I mean, we are gonna go for the royal giant there and the opponent is gonna go in for his bats right so normally you could play the really cheeky e-spirit here a normal e-spirit would entirely kill this but as you guys can see here it's not gonna kill and um, the bats and the bats are still counter pushing now we're just gonna let them go here and as you guys can see the tower needs to get free shots and look at this right so so much damage the tower will be almost dead just from bats you can't ignore them anymore in the evolutions form and this is one of the biggest changes ever right it's not like skeletons skeletons you can just like go through bats this won't be possible you're still forced to defend evil skeletons uh, evil bats and this is an absolutely crazy stuff and just for two leaks a reminder bats are already one of the best cards in clash Royale. I don't know why Supercell did that. They need to emergency near of this card already, guys. Something I want to show you now is just going to go now for Miner. And the opponent is going to drop now his Evil Bats. And now let's kind of see how the poison does. So we're just going to poison the Evil Bats here. And the Evil Bats, they're still dealing some damage. They're not going to get one shot. They're still going to die. So poison still in really solid answer, I would say, overall. But still... To be fair, it's still an expensive commitment. Now we're gonna take a look. Like arrows, of course, still killing it. So opponent is gonna go for lava at the bridge. You need to. You can go for the bats here, but remember, it's it's always a negative elixir trade going in for arrows on top of the bats. It just doesn't feel right. But you need to like you need to play them right. Wage zap will be completely fall of the matter. It's not good anymore, and it's just crazy to see like how the meta will shift in Clash Royale for the next season. Next to the action, guys, the opponent is gonna drop a skelly barrel at the bridge, and we're just gonna go in here for our evil bats here. So, evil bats are gonna go on top of the skelly barrel here, are surviving and gonna kill everything. So, it's like minions, right? So, they're still counter pushing here, which is absolutely crazy and still dealing damage. The normal bats, they would just die of the skeleton barrel, so you need to place them higher because the death damage is gonna kill them. But right now, we're defending like with two elixir against three elixir, flawless, and then also getting a counter push and dealing 400 damage on the opponent's tower. And I just 
feel like this has to be man like I, I'm, I'm repeating myself but this is busted the next iteration i want to show you guys is kind of something i thought about it so when the opponent is going in for the electro giant we're just gonna go for the bats on top of the electro giant isn't that interesting no they're still gonna die uh, on the first shot so this is important to keep in mind so they're just immensely gonna die here's it a bit different than minions because minions tank one shot from the electro giant but good to know so electro giant still does the job against bats like imagining the Electro Giant or like the bats wouldn't one shot the Electro Giant and just heal them up all the time. This would be too crazy. So good to know Electro Giant is still absolutely overpowered against bats. Now I just kind of want to test something. So the example I'm going to go for my rescue here at the bridge. Now an opponent is going to play bats. Like how do they do against this type of push? Okay, they're still going to die like one shot as long as you're not timing them well enough. Okay, this is interesting to know. So rescues and so on, just like a ton of DPS still one shots them. So kind of keep in mind, right? Troops like Rascals, Electro Giant, they're still able to one-shot them. They're still dying from arrows, so you kind of need to kind of take a look at all the cards, how much damage they do. I kind of showed you statistics at the start, but still good to know. So they're really great in this type of scenarios to counter, but like troops like Spear Gums, as you guys were seeing, they're not going to one-shot them. They're not dealing the damage, all the same for like Skeleton Barrel death damage. So kind of keep in mind, you need a ton of single target damage to finish off the bats now. Next question I'm asking myself, how are they doing against a minion hotted example? So opponent is gonna have the, the tower and going in for bats there but bats how are they doing now okay i would say they're doing a bit better but still minion horde also does pretty well so the most important key is countering this type of card with like fast single target damage rather like having a musketeer example because the musketeer and archers and so on they're not doing a great job because they take a ton of time they also like just like dps on one tube so rather having like um rest skills mean not having more troops to target and kill the bats entirely before just like because as i said the counter push is absolutely valuable so you need to finish them off as soon as you can before they're heating up again and your tower needs three shots to kill them so next time I kind of want to change, uh, want to see something. So actually from the stats, it should be possible that the bats are surviving also the golem death damage. So we're just going to go for the bats on top. As I said, the evolution does a bit more damage, but has the same normal HP. But as I said, like we're knowing they're healing up. So bats are going to go on top of the golem doing great damage. The golem is just allowed to go like get two shots. And the bats, they're actually surviving and still creating counter push. This is crazy. The same happens also against the Lumberjack, right? Which is one of the most annoying player, uh, most annoying things as a minor world player currently. When the opponent's gonna play Lumberjack, you're gonna play bats on top. They're just like absolutely not doing anything. But, because they're dying. But right now they will survive and still kill something else. Dude, this feels busted. So I guess it's the last test. I think you guys know that already. But when we're going on top of the bats here or with the bats here on top of the golem, NATO also won't finish it so the only real way like nato finish them off like same for zap and so on as long as they're not targeting anything like when they don't target anything they're not healing up so this is really important for you guys to keep in mind they're just healing up when um they're targeting but arrows doesn't matter if they're full uh, if they're full hp from the healing up or not arrows will always be able to kill them let me know in the comment section if you missed any interaction and also of course the most important thing let me know feedback what do you guys think of the bats are you guys excited how would you rank this evil compared to the other ones i personally think will be the strong is evil by far especially after the evil barbs nerf and also the evil night nerf coming into the clash Royale october update which also did the yesterday video about the, the balance chase so let me know in the comments section what you guys think about it check another video on my channel subscribe use code more in the shop and i would say i'm out i'm so excited to read your comments on this video below and i would say i'm out goodbye peace out and have a great awesome rest of your day guys